Hi kids. Hope you guys had a great week. I can't wait to tell you another Bible story today. And today we're going to talk about Joshua. Do you guys remember Joshua? Joshua was the, the one who helped Moses when Moses was leading the people out of Egypt. Let's find out what Joshua did. Okay. God tells Joshua to lead the people of Israel into the promised land. Don't be afraid because I am with you. God says to Joshua, God's with you too, right? He's with all of us. Joshua sends two spies to explore the land and the great city of Jericho. Truly, God has handed over all the land to us, the spies report. The people of Jericho are terrified that we're coming. So he sent those spies over and they came back and said that they were so afraid of them. I wonder what happens. Let's find out. The Israelites must cross the Jordan River to reach Jericho. When they carry the Ark of the Covenant into the river, God makes the river stop flowing and everyone walks across on dry land. Wow, God did that once before, right? With Moses and the Israelite people when they were leaving Egypt and he split the water, he made dry land again. Pretty amazing, right? And this is the Ark of the Covenant and they're walking across the dry land. Joshua takes 12 stones from the river to make an altar. The altar is to remind the people how powerful God is and to obey him. So he takes the rocks, the stones out of the river, and he makes an altar as a reminder of all the good things that God was doing. There he is praying. When the people reach Jericho, God tells them what to do. They obey. They march around the city for six days. On the seventh day, they march around the city seven times. The priests blow their horns and the people shout. What? So for six days, they march around the city. Can you march with Miss Patty? And they march. And on the second day, they march again. And then on the third and fourth and fifth day, they march. And on the sixth day, they march. But then on the seventh day, they marched around the city seven times. Wow. And when they marched around, the Bible says the priests blew their horns and all the people shouted and they praised God. I wonder what happened when they did that. Let's find out. The walls of Jericho all fell flat. What? All just from shouting and blowing horns and marching? They didn't have to do anything else. Wow, God is so amazing, isn't he? Joshua was a great leader. He and his people obeyed God, and God gave them the promised land. There they are, and they're all happy, and God gave the promised land to them, and they obeyed God. We need to obey God too, don't we? Whenever God wants us to do something, whether it's obey our moms and dads, or just clean up after ourselves, or watch what we say, or be careful what we hear. God's watching, right? And he wants us to be listening and he wants us to be obedient. And when we're obedient to him, he honors us, right? And he wants to honor you because he loves you. So let's all pray today that God will help us to be obedient, okay? Bow your heads. Jesus, we thank you for your word and we thank you for all your blessings and your promises. And we ask you, Father God, to help us to be obedient. Help us to listen, Father God, to our parents, Lord, and to our teachers and to our grandmas and grandpas. And help us, Father God, to listen most importantly to you and to trust you and to know that you are in control. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Love you guys. See you next week.